The A-10 was designed for austere bases with limited facilities. Many of the aircraft's parts are interchangeable, including the engines, main landing gear, and vertical stabilizers. Then came the First Iraq War. As the conflict unfolded, A-10s destroyed more than 900 Iraqi tanks, 2,000 other military vehicles, and 1,200 artillery pieces. The A-10 has seen in action in every major U.S. conflict since and approximately 350 remain in service. By the early 2000s, no one could argue about the A-10's effectiveness. How little things change. Forty years later, some Air Force leaders still see the A-10 as too rudimentary for the battlefield of the future, preferring in this case the supposedly do-it-all F-35. In fact, the A-10 is now expected to fly well into the 2040s, though its role could change from tank killer to insurgent menace.